for this winter fail, I'm going to re-finish a bathtub. Hers looks amazing in the end result, so I figured I would give ours a try because I don't really want to spend a lot of money on one right now. So we're just going to refinish it. Also, her link is in the description box below because she does a little more detail on it. So if you go there, you can find hers. You can also click on the YouTube video link that I added in here as well. I followed his steps on cleaning the bathtub because she didn't really mention too much on that. So I really wanted to do a really good clean up in the beginning to make sure it, it went right. I also added my steps in the description box below the, all of the instructions that I did step by step just to make it a little bit easier to follow. The items that you will need for this project will be tub and tile refinishing kit and this comes in two pieces part A and part B. You will also need a drop cloth some painter's tape, and this tool to remove the drain. I'm not exactly sure what this tool was called, but it worked really, really well. You will also need some green scrub pads, some TSP or Comet, some Clorox Lime Away 400 grit sandpaper, some tack cloth, and some rubber gloves. For the painting part, you will need a paintbrush. I had a sponge brush as well, but I never used it. You'll also need a mask. Definitely buy a mask and use this. I didn't even realize the smell was that bad until I took it off to talk in the camera and I it, it was ridiculously horrible smell. So just keep that in mind, you do want a mask when you do this. You will also need a paint tray. You will need some rubber gloves and a small roller. This is a about a four inch roller that I used. And I did not use the foam roller, I came with two. It came with a, um, you know, like a normal roller. <laughs> and then it came with a foam roller. And I did not use the foam roller. I wanted it to actually have a little bit of a texture and I show that later in the, in the video. You will also need two paint stick stirs. I only had one and realized later that I need two, so I had to break it in half. All right, for this winter fail, I am doing a bathroom tub remodel. Now, my husband decided to do this as well. A while back and he wanted to use the roll-on one but they didn't have it at the store so he just got the spray on one and it just sprayed and dripped everywhere you know we don't want to spend a lot of money on getting a new tub right now so we're just basically doing the cheap way out on this but this bathtub is disgusting we have horrible water um but yeah you can see here how I don't know if you can see that little drips coming down. This is from when he sprayed it. And the spray can was just kind of like it was broke, so it wasn't like spraying as nicely. And that's my son in the background, if you can hear him. But yeah, so I am going to be remodeling this bathtub here. Because it needs some serious remodeling. I'm hoping this paint will work because. It would be nice to have a clean white tub. I know it doesn't last for very long, but it's $25, so, you know. We did buy two paint things so that we can do the bottom and the wall, so that it'll have two of them, but. All right, so let's try this out and see if it works. Cross your fingers, yeah. do is remove all of your hardware so anything that you can remove remove that um, I've already removed the caps down here on the jets but these these remain there they don't you can't remove those so first thing remove all your hardware this stupid bar for some reason I cannot get it out of there for some reason I don't know why so it's just gonna sit on there for now and I will just have to try my best to paint around it. But that is your first step. You're going to want to tape off your edges here and around your tub to make sure that none of the paint or the chemicals get on your flooring or your walls. If I do get any down in the crack here, you're not going to be able to see it because we have a trim board that goes along. Okay, 
So now that my drop cloth is down and the tape is around the walls, I am going to start doing cleaning. All right, so what I also did is I put some drop cloth down around the hose and taped it off. And I did the same up there just so that there's no chance of any dripping coming down onto the work that I do. And of course we took all of the fixtures off before we cleaned it. So when I have to rinse it all off, I'm gonna have to use a um, bucket of water and stuff, and stuff to rinse it because we weren't that smart when we decided to do this. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna scrub everything down with the Clorox bleach. I'm scrubbing it with this scrubber here. Every inch of this thing I'm gonna scrub down. So here I go. So we don't have any water because I blocked it off. And we brought in the hose from outside. This should be exciting. Make sure you dry the tub completely before doing your next step. All right, once you've cleaned your tub with Clorox, you've rinsed it and now you've dried it. Your next step is going to use your TSB or your Comet, whatever you choose to use and scrub the entire tub completely down with that. Your next step is going to rinse that off completely and then dry it. So what I'm doing now is just removing all of this caulk here as much as I can and I'm going to take the vacuum cleaner and vacuum it all out of there, clean it all up, and then I'll be ready to do the Lime Away spray. Alright, so I took all of the caulk out of the corners here, Bang, and I was going to do it around here, but then I got lazy and didn't want to do anymore, so hopefully <laughs> that won't be a problem. But you'll want to remove all the caulk that you can, including the sides, I would think. Next, you're gonna spray your entire tub with Lime Away, clean the whole thing, then let it sit for five minutes, and then spray it all again, and then you're gonna rinse it. So two times, and then rinse. Rinse both sets of the Lime Away, So now I am completely done with the second coat of Lime Away. Lime Away. And I have rinsed it completely. All right, so it's completely dry with the towel and now I'm gonna let it sit for 90 minutes. I have the fan on here and I have the ceiling fan going once I shut this off. And I will shut the door so that it will hopefully dry up as soon as possible. But all right, that's it so far. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is sand this whole thing with this sandpaper. And it's a very light sandpaper. You just wanna rough it up a little bit, I guess. So that is what I'm gonna do now. Now that it's all sanded completely, I'm going to use the tack cloth to remove all of the dust and everything from the tub. My hair is a disaster from that mask. And my face has my toilet. Let's go! And just so you guys know, this tack cloth is very sticky and it stuck to everything, which is what it's supposed to do. But my hands were disgusting afterwards. And it was kind of hard to get off, come clean. So um, if I were you, I'd wear some, just some rubber gloves to do that. And here is that tool and how it works. You just stick it in the little holes and twist it off. Pretty neat. Now it's time to paint. So put on your mask and make sure you get all of your little guys out of the house. My little family's outside. Because the chemicals are so strong. 
Mm, I want to be out there with them. <laughs> Alright, here's the mixing part. You're going to mix both cans separately very well. Then you're going to pour the smaller can into the larger can and then mix that until well combined. Once that's combined well, you're going to pour that into your tray. And guys, just be aware that this splatters very easily. It's very thin, so just keep um, that in mind. And once you start rolling on, it actually covers pretty well. I did go back over this wall once it dried a little tiny bit. I know you're not supposed to do that, but there was bubbles and it looked, it, it wasn't really bubbles, it looked like it was just like paint that was from the brush, I guess, in a way. Um, so I made sure that I went back over that and cleaned it up and it actually turned out in the end, it didn't mess up the paint or anything. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, try not to do it, but if you happen to do it, then it won't, it won't be a big problem. And be careful around your, you know, your drains and your um, jets if you have them because mine, I didn't quite get the drain very well around the whole area and we got a new, a new drain so it doesn't fit as well as it should have. Alright, so the first coat is on. I'm going to be kind of quick because it stinks really bad in here, but I just took my mask off so I could talk. And the fans are on, so sorry if you can't hear, but yeah, looks pretty good for a first coat. So let's wait an hour and come back and do the second coat. All right, so here is the bathtub completely finished. This is day three of letting it dry. We did get some new hardware, some fancier ones. Just to look a little better in here because the old ones are very grimy and nasty and we tried cleaning them, but they didn't quite come clean, so we got some new ones here. Now a couple little things. This is the same exact tub, same exact one, and actually right there you can see that there is a spot still that it did not clean very, or it did not paint over very well, so that might cause an issue, might peel up later. Also around the thing, there's a little bit of water in here now because I just changed the thing, but it could very well peel up there as well. Okay. And then around here, it could peel up as well. So far this is a win. It is now like a week later and we've already taken showers in it and it is still is perfect. No peeling or, you know, messed up paint or anything. It actually looks very good still. And here's the texture that I was looking for with the brush. Here is the before. You can see how yellow and blue it is. And then after. And then here's the before of the drain area. And after. Alright guys, thanks for watching this one or fail. Hope you liked it. Hope you try to redo your tub. And if you do, please take precautions by using the mask or, you know, using gloves. Everything that you need and get everybody out of the house because that was a big thing. Our whole house was horrible smelling for the rest of the night. We actually stayed outside all day with it and, um, and aired it out very well. So keep that in mind that it is very powerful smell. Um, make sure you wear a mask and gloves and air out everything. We had all the windows open and all the fans open. So, or all the fans on. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.